Have you ever dreamed of living or working in Lapland? Now you have an amazing opportunity to work as a safari guide or sail assistant here in Finland. Let's find out more in this The eLive broadcast. Welcome! Telling us more about working with Lapland Welcome, we have CEO Veli Moilanen with us today. Welcome. So, Lapland Welcome organizes many types of nature safaris. Uh, what should our foreign job seekers know about the safari industry in Lapland during the winter season? Yes, we will have a very busy season here in Lapland. Lapland Welcome works in several destinations in Lapland, Rovaniemi, Saariselkä, Kemi and Katkavaara. And uh, you should be prepared for hard work and uh, new experiences. We will have a good training in the beginning of the season um, that lasts a few days and we will train uh, as well as uh, working with foreign tourists as surviving in the <coughs> arctic nature and also driving on snowy and icy conditions those are the most important skills in uh, guide work here Sounds interesting. All of you behind the screen just to know that you can also ask Veli your own questions via our chat. We will also have US advisors answering, in, uh, in answering you in the chat. So this is the perfect chance to ask questions, for example, about working in Finland and about the upcoming online recruitment event work in Lapland. Next. You will hear more about working with Lapland Welcome from longtime employee Anthony Picken. Because as a native English speaker, when you move to Lapland, tourism is an obvious choice of career. And um, I walked into Lapland Welcome's office and insisted Veli gave me a contract. He said he would promise me no work, but he gave me the contract. And I've now been there 10 years. Um, so it's worked for me. The daily life around in the company revolves around fitting in with the client's needs and requirements. They turn up when they want, they have their safari when they want to go where they want. And so it's about flexibility and about being available and ready and also being able to cope with a range of environments and circumstances, uh, but also to make it a, a pleasant experience for your for your guests. For me, my work is about the night sky. Um, so I do the evening gigs, Arctic sunset safari, midnight sun safari, and northern lights. And so I, for me, the weather is a, a crucial enemy or friend, and um, it makes a huge difference to how, what you, what the product looks or feels like, the experience the clients get. But it's down to the guide to make the difference on the nights when the environment doesn't give you what you wanted it to. But that is the challenge that I enjoy, um, that, that immediate responsiveness to the shifting sands of, of the weather. I'm fascinated by the northern lights and the sunset. The, the night sky in Lapland, it makes this place exceptional. It has that, that one quality that puts it above other places in the world. Everywhere is beautiful in its own right, but, and, and is, as is Lapland, as you can see but uh, the night sky is something to behold. As a, as a personality, I'm, I'm quite, I have a very strong sense of humor, which is a, a big asset. And also we talk about, you have to know, know a lot about this environment, uh, its, its history, its geology, its nature. And so you can talk about whatever aspects seem to interest the clients. When you're talking to the clients, you can see whether they're interested or not in what you're saying. So if, if they're not interested, you can move on to a different topic and um, also sharing, uh, making it as a Finnish experience as you possibly can, so as people have a story to take home with them. And new colleagues, ideally you should know, try and read up a little bit about the place, um, it, the history, the, the, the nature. And you don't have to study too hard. Um, and I'd lived here 10 years before I started 
we have all sorts, all sorts of ages, all sorts of backgrounds, and I think that's a positive thing. We have some people who've qualified and trained in tourism, other people who are just taking a year out. But um, the important thing is that you're passionate about your work uh, and that you want to do it. It's not just uh, a, a day trip for you as well. Um, and so there's many different, all types of people. You can never know too much because, and you never, you never know what aspect of this place clients are going to be interested in. From the recycling bottles and machines in the supermarkets to the landscape, to the, the Second World War history, you've no idea what they're going to ask you. But working at Lapland Welcome, the opportunities it offers is uh, an experience here. It's good to understand what um, customer service is all about at the, the raw end, so to speak. It can be a bit of a wake-up call, um, but equally the environment is amazing and, and it's an amazing place to work uh, and that will rub off on you in the winter. It's challenging. Um, the coldest I've done this, my work is minus 38 degrees and that is not the coldest it can be. That's just my own personal record. Um, and it's physically challenging to be outside even in those conditions, but it's very beautiful and you can't get that beauty without the environment that it comes with. One has to be available when the company needs you, um, but equally the for me, the company has been flexible at other times. Although I do have a zero hours contract, it's, it's worked very well for me. And I've been here 10 years um, and I have no intention of going anywhere else anytime soon. What a beautiful view. Veli, what do you wish your new employees would be like? For example, what kind of job experience or education backgrounds? You, okay. Any experience in tourism is a big plus, even if it is in restaurant or hotel business. All, all experience in services is, is a good start to this work. About education, uh, we have different roles in our guides, uh, from cultural guides to snowmobile tour guides. And uh, <clears throat> uh, let's say that uh, edu education is a plus, but not necessary, except uh, that language is English is obligatory and all languages in addition to English are usable here. Anthony talked about having to know as much as possible about the Lapesh culture and nature and of course the history. Uh, what kind of training do you provide the guides before they really start working? You, we organize here in Rovaniemi all of our new starting guides we organize uh, two or three days training on the spot and in addition we share a lot of uh, instructions in online in in cloud service like hundreds of pages where you can check the content of different programs and uh, what you need to know before each working task so you can uh, even like previous evening uh, go through those instructions so you are confident to go working with clients and how long this training will last yeah it depends on the final position what you will get but let's say that from two days two days is a minimum but for snowmobile safari guides uh, the, we include also <coughs> training for engines and machines and uh, a lot of safety training, so it will be like a week in total. Okay, let's hear more about the salary. Uh, in Finland, collective agreements are made for different fields of business and they specify things like minimum sal salary level, working hours and holidays. Finland also offers many benefits like free education and public health care that is paid with tax revenues. So, taxes, social security payments and pensions are taken from the salary. 
tax rate for an employee is progressive, so it depends on your income. The more money you earn, the more taxes you will pay. More information about these issues can be found from the links in the chat. Veli, uh, what's the salary like for Lapland Welcome employees? Yo, as a beginner tour guide, you will get salary at least 2000 euros a month. Uh, but with extras, you end up easily to 3000 even more. And I know that in previous season, the best earning guide earned 5000 euros a month. Okay. But it depends on a lot of uh, also your, your will to work. So evening work is more paid and Sunday work. And if you are willing to work a lot, you really can affect your earnings a lot. Uh, well, do you have provide any additional benefits uh, on the top of the salary? For example, apartment, transportation, maybe any after work get togethers? Yes, it depends on the final tasks, but uh, we often provide even a car for work and uh, way to work. And we, we provide uh, very good working gear, professional gear for Arctic conditions. Uh, then we offer, of course, uh, free health care in, in, in Lapland here. And uh, uh, many meals are free always oh. when you are with uh, tourists in the nature. You, you <clears throat> participate on making, preparing the meal and you may, of course, enjoy the meal for free as well. And then uh, in the end of the Christmas season, we used to <clears throat> give special prizes to people who have been more, most successful with tourists and also in the end of the season. And uh, every guide can earn a little bit more by special uh, code, promo code, promoting code. Oh. Each guide has a personal code and mm -hmm. If uh, clients uh, wherever online or here on the spot uh, book more activities from us and use your promo code, you will earn more salary through that promo code. And in the end of the season, we traditionally have a nice snowmobile tour all together from Rovaniemi to Luosto, for example. And we spend one night there in a in a team and uh, in a spa spa hotel and next day we drive back. These are some examples of what we are doing. Wow, what yeah, the Lapland, special welcome. things for employees who are coming to Lapland. Welcome. Well, in this point we are taking our chat. So now it's your turn and time to ask some questions. Okay, so here, Henry wants to know, what is the location of the Lapland Welcome? So where, where are you now? Yo, our headquarters uh, is here in Rovaniemi, the capital of Lapland, Finnish Lapland. Uh, but some working places we have also in Saari, Selkavot is 300 kilometers north from uh, Rovaniemi and also in Kemi Tornio area, what is 100 kilometers south from Rovaniemi. And all of our guides, because this is a tour guide work and you go with our guests all around Lapland, even in, in the whole Finland, sometimes abroad to Norway, you never know when you, where you end up, but uh, <laughs> the main work is in Rovaniemi. Okay. And how many people you will uh, take this upcoming season? Mm, I think uh, we don't have a final decision yet because we want to see more how much reservations we finally get. But uh, it is something between 30, 40 new guides. Okay, we will answer the rest of the questions in writing. Thank you for the questions.
Thank you. Okay, if you still have a questions in mind that hasn't been answered, go ahead and ask in the chat, So, uh, which is open for another 10 minutes. Veli is ready to answer you in writing also. And Veli, one last question. Why is it a great idea to apply to work as a guide or sales assistant in Lapland? Welcome. Yeah, it is, uh, <clears throat> it is a big experience if you have never been to Lapland, so you may visit for free many places. You have free entrance to many numerous museums and wildlife parks and such places. Once you wear Lapland welcome clothes, you are welcome everywhere, usually for free. This is a big advantage and of course it's a big, big experience to come working to Lapland and uh, experience this nature and many activities for free. Thank you so much for the interview, Veli. You're welcome. So, there you go. If you want to experience Lapland nature, the northern lights and the snow, please send your job applications uh, to Veli's email. Also, don't forget the upcoming online recruitment event work in Lapland, where Lapland Welcome will also be present among with other employees uh, from Northern Finland. We will leave you with this teaser about the event and wish you the best of luck in finding your dream job in Lapland. Moi moi! Working Lapland is an online recruitment event and there will be employers from Northern Finland posting their job opportunities. Also, there will be information about working and living in Finland. To participate in Working Lapland event, you only need a computer or a smart device and a working internet connection. This event takes place on the europeanjobdays.eu the event Working Lapland will be launched already in May, so keep an eye uh, on the platform and you might find your job even before September.